Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? I'll watch this one. <laughs> here we go. Check it out. Check it out, boys. There. First load in the feedlot. All right, I'm gonna pull the head here. So we'll get the other guys. we got left in these pens is the water. Right, Maggie? Goofball. There. Okay, we'll get some stuff moved and be back in a bit. Okay. So, we got a few things to move yet. We're going to take this trough because we don't have water over there. So... Just unplug the tank heater. Ashley's bringing old whiny with the bale. And we'll get that chopped and I'll have to set the bunk, the uh, old flat right there, to the height we need it. But I want to get there before she starts feeding, so I'll be back in a few. All right. So, here she comes. We're going to uh, grind some down that bunk, or feed front. Then we'll grind some down this one here too. Then we'll have to uh, set these neck bars so the animals can't crawl out of there. So that's the plan. We'll see how this goes here the first time. Maybe I shouldn't be videoing. <laughs> See how this goes here. Oh, there she goes. I said move there you go Okay, now everybody's fed and bedded. Uh, we're just uh, taking water over with one of our little tanks here. I'm gonna stop at the shoot pen here and grab the uh, little hose and then we should be good to go. So, I'll uh, be back in a few here when I get this hose. Grab this hose, we can drain the tank into that water tub. So, 
We're gonna have to break some ice in the next couple of days, but when you think about it, it's I think the it's supposed to be like plus one tomorrow again and a little bit above zero. They're kinda on and off, so that's gonna be alright. Uh for this uh task anyways. And I got I got some stuff in the shop there. I got some steel there last night and brought it in and let it melt off and I figured out ah, maybe I'll get to that today while well, it's already 2.30 probably. Oh, maybe even later, 3 o'clock ish. So, maybe I'll be able to start that tonight. I gotta make a, a panel with two gates inside of it. I'm not sure what the guy's doing but anyway. That's what he wants. So it's basically a panel and then a gate here, and then a space and then another gate. Uh kind of all mixed into one. So anyways, I will uh bring you back when we get over to the water here. So talk to you in a few. Alright guys, so we're back in the shop here. Uh working on uh, somebody's order a custom double gate panel sort of thing um, so what he wants is a drive-through gate and then a smaller drive-through gate I don't know why they're not divided but whatever those are his measurements what he sent me or sent Ashley I should say on Facebook and I we got to make it happen so we're in the midst of uh, cutting some pipe, uh, getting everything measured up, getting all my lengths cut, and then hopefully tomorrow we can start pressing steel and get to welding here. I think what I'm going to have to do, if I can get it all measured in this area, I might move some of that stuff back out of the way a little bit so I can fit all everything down in here. But... I don't know if I have to I might try to make like the first piece then the second piece with this long guy in there somehow I don't know but anyway I can always make these separate and then weld them together outside like stick that stick one of these ends out the door but I think I'm going to start this bigger one first so I'll build it as far over as I can and I'll build the next piece then the next piece and then get the gates dropped in there so anyway I guess I'll keep giving her shit here get my pieces cut so we have something to work with tomorrow and uh, yeah I'll bring you back when we get something together here I'm just trying to uh, we're just in the sort of designing stages of it and making sure we got the right amount of steel in the shop and getting everything cut here so he wants everything made of drill stem the whole frame excuse me so that's what we're gonna do so I got to uh, cut four uprights because I got two separate uh, gate frames inside of one frame so I need four uprights then I got to cut the crossbars and yeah so sort of make everything in one and then I'll work on the gates next and then I'll do that middle piece in between so anyway for now I'll uh, keep cutting here and bring you back in a bit How's that? Good. The kids wanted to make a video. Hey guys. I gotta take the torch around the front. Paxton will see it. There we go. Okay, let's leave them eat. They got their drink there. They can have their drink. All right. See you in a bit. We're gonna go grab the torch and get some boards in on those windbreaks here. So, morning, guys. We just fired up the old uh, 
pen 70 here for chores. She's warming up. Anyway, I was talking about those uh, wind brakes. Uh, me and the kids put all the boards on. And hopefully we'll be able to haul them like this. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I think what I'll try to do is line them up. And then run the straps through the bottom here in the tray. This is a uh, older style ones where we use the double sucker rod. And then this, these ones we used, uh, I picked up that angle iron. That worked out pretty good. So anyway, these are done. They're ready to be hauled. Ashley took a delivery today. Uh, those feed fronts took them to uh, uh, Wadena, I think. Anyway, so that's that. Here's the uh, what they look like when they're done. Look pretty good, actually. So these these ones are uh, install boards. Like you can take them in and out. So all I done was uh, so the boards don't wiggle. I stuck a two by six up underneath. And put one screw per uh, board in there, and now they're now they're solid. So hopefully I'll be able to transport them like that. We'll see. Usually I don't put wood in, but the customer wanted wood, and he had to. They had to have the wood, so that's that's okay. Um, like I say, the biggest thing is to transport them now. So hopefully we'll be able to. There's three of these and then two sucker rod panels I gotta go. So anyway, I guess that's that. Uh I did start that uh other big bow gate frame. There's one frame there, but that's in the separate video. I got about three videos all piled up here, and I'm just gotta make an ending for this one. Um the kids have been using my phone on and off while the other stuff buggers up uh, for schooling and stuff so anyways that's that so thanks for watching leave a comment subscribe for more and uh, give us a thumbs up guys that that counts so sorry for not putting too many videos out lately but we've been busy and on quarantine and getting a feedlot done there and we got the other two uh, lots to do yet, so that'll be good. Things are coming along, so anyway, thanks for watching, and got to go help Flint get his computer going, so we'll see you in the next one.